Okay, everybody, today we are going to learn a quick way to sync up two different clips of video. And I've got one clip up here that is me, and then I hop on my horse and go for a ride. And what you're looking at is the view of the horse, and that looks like this. So you can see I put a camera on my horse, and uh, off we went for a ride. And so this is her view. So if we just kind of scroll through this a little bit, let's make this bigger. And uh, you can see here that we're just taking a walk, and this is her viewpoint. Now, the thing about this is that looking at just what the horse looks at is kind of boring. So what we also have is footage of me with a the 360 camera. And so what we want to do is we want to sync up the two of these. So the first thing we're going to do is come over and grab our horse footage and we're going to just sort of set it up close uh, to where I hop on probably somewhere around here and just drag this down into the timeline which creates a brand new sequence at the resolution that it's at. That's fine we don't have to worry about any of that because we're only going to be concentrating on audio linking up. Now the next thing that we need to do is bring in B. And I know that I start this clip later because here I am hopping on the horse. So I know that and I can I can tell I'm at the mounting block in in this one over here and then we go for a ride. So somewhere in here, <laughs> it's a strange, strange look, isn't it? 360 cameras are fascinating. Look at this, this just looks so weird. Anyhow, so what we want is we're just gonna actually drag this whole thing down into the timeline. And to match up the audio, I've honestly found the easiest way to do this is just to zoom in. And the way I'm zooming is I'm holding down the Alt or Option key on my keyboard and my scroll wheel, and I just zoom in. And you can you can go ahead and play it and see where it's at. I might actually be really close off the top. Listen in. Both okay, meeting. off we go. Okay, so here I am talking, and I'm pretty sure it's the one blow, so we're going to mute the top track. Okay, off we go. All right, so now we want to know where I say, okay, off we go. And if we look, we can kind of expand these waveforms bigger. In fact, let's just go like this, make it really big. And, and what you can do is take a look at these waveforms here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this over to what I think. I think these match up because both cameras are taking um, audio. And we're just going to drag it around until I think it's about right. That's a little far, so zoom in just a smidge more. Come over. Oh, I just want to come over one. It's just a tiny drag. And then we can go ahead and listen in. Okay, off we go for our trail ride. And that's pretty good, right? So uh, this is, I find, I mean, there's other ways to do this, but I find that the easiest way to match up audio is literally just to look at the waveform and, and you can see if you've got more than one camera running, you can really zoom in here if you just hold the alt and you use your scroll wheel, you can see they're almost the exact same waveforms all the way along. And then you know you're matched up. So that's a really quick way. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna cover how I would um, make a picture-in-picture -picture effect here. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next one.